Okay. Blah, 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 jump over here, jump over there. All right. Yeah, yeah, I'm in the mood for Metroid. And that does make it a little bit softer. Metroid Fusion. Not Metroid 4. I don't care what it says. All right. I forget about that on occasion. Oh, well, at least we didn't get too far in. Okay, uh, if you didn't read what that said, I have to... The whole goal of this is to find... Great. One second. Okay. The whole goal of this is to find the charge beam, the plasma beam, and the open the level four locks piece. Uh, level four locks require gravity suit, speed booster, and some kind of bomb or screw attack. So, you know, we have to get a good number of stuff. Uh, in addition, I updated my rando and have enabled settings of pain and suffering. So we'll see how that goes. Oh, die. No. There's no hints in this game, unfortunately. I just kind of let muscle memory take, take control. Hints. Haven't you seen what I put myself through? With these randos? What are you talking about? For once. Okay. First item. This is always going to be your first item. There's no way around that. This can either be missiles or morph ball. If it's missiles, I go the vanilla path. If it's morph ball, then things could get interesting. Oh god, it's morph ball. Oh god. <laughs> why? <sighs> okay. So, uh, the reason why I knew it was Morph Ball, there's normally a little, a little, uh, missile indicator right there. If it was missiles, it would show up. Okay. God, there's... You were, Morph Ball seeds are supposed to be rare. What well, if I rolled three in the last six Metroid Fusion Seeds I've made? Well, we'll see how these, uh, how that fuel feels later. Uh, I'm thinking uh, a mixture of some uh, AGWs. Hmm. Okay. What do we get in here? Because this is the first thing. Okay, missiles. I kind of actually didn't want it to be missiles, because that just means I go get more fall to go all the way back around to go to the vanilla path. And it's like more falls going to be early anyway. Because like you get you get missiles and you have to go through the vanilla path and you have to get more fall in there. Because like you go down the vanilla path, you need more fall to escape. <laughs> if you get more fall early, you go over there and you can get to a couple items. You can get to a couple items with just more fall. They're tedious and annoying, but you they can be done. It's like this is just vanilla path extended. 
I go to get more fall, and then I come back here. I come, go get more fall, go get, um, go get, uh, missiles, come back here. Okay, first things first. <laughs> okay! Alright, my missiles do twice as much damage now, I think. I'm glad I made two seeds. I'm starting to wonder if I should have made three. Okay, can you do... Yeah, thank you. Okay, uh, missiles have their have their own like uh they have their own damage values that people have already figured out. Um, base missiles do ten damage. Okay. When you get super missiles, that adds twenty damage to take you to thirty. Ice missiles add ten. Oh my god! What the hell is this? Shit? What? did I make? And then, uh, after you get your, uh, like, after, like, uh, uh, diffusion. Diffusion missiles. Uh, diffusion missiles just add five damage to your missiles. So your total... The total damage your missiles can deal at full power is 45 damage. Like, this guy should only take two missiles. Whereas normally he'd take three. If I had gotten super missiles, he'd take one. And this missile tank. You can tell because it refills my missiles and I get an additional number. Okay! High jump, jump ball, Varia, speed booster. Uh... Morph ball missiles, ice missiles. God, what is this start? It's like the only thing, like, of my requirement. I need some kind of bomb at this point. Which I'm probably more likely to find power bombs, and I need um I need what about it? Brain think, brain think. I need gravity suit. Those are the only things that can really be locked behind anything. Charge beam and plasma beam can be literally anywhere. Okay, you take. It's like, Gravity Suit, I know, isn't really going to be in the water. Not anywhere where I would need, like, speed boost or something. Okay. Oh! I understand now. Okay, so one of the new settings is uh, Sector Shuffle. So, you know, normally it's like uh, even sectors on one side, odd sectors on the other. In this... The first sector is Sector 6. Locking itself... Sector 2 and Sector 3 are through there. You know, they're locking themselves, so I'm going to... Like, I either do not need to go there... Uh, I don't think they accidentally showed it. I think they just told a couple people, like Nash and uh, Alexis. Okay, so Sector 6 is right there. And Sector 5 is right here. Then... I don't know where I want to go. But I understand why it gave me so much stuff now. Let's go to Sector 6. In Sector 6 I can do a decent-ish amount. Okay, save. 
Saving is very important, especially at like the top of an area because you could softlock yourself. It is way too easy to softlock yourself in this game by going in some place you can't get out of. Can I kill you? I cannot kill you. There's a thing there, but I cannot get rid of it. So, it seems my choice of Sector 6 was the incorrect one. God, my health. Ugh. Okay. Well, I only have one other option, so... Sector 5 it is. Actually, thinking about what it's given me, I think I know what it wants me to go look at. Like, between the ice missiles and the high jump, there's a couple of things that I can easily get to. Okay. Shoot him. Go up. Shoot him. Go up. And what are we here? And there's bombs. Which can, does kind of let me get to other things, doesn't it? We'll see how far we can get in here. I should be able to get to the yellow security room because you're normally supposed to be able to get here with mostly exactly what I have. So I can unlock the yellow security doors and do a couple other tricks. Hello, Isex. I can't check that. That needs power bombs. Beam is very powerful in this game. They learned for zero mission. This beam is way too powerful. That's why they kind of nerfed it into the ground for zero mission. Okay, and then bombs just quite happens to let me go down here. Okay, I need to go down here. Ow! My face! Um... Question. Yeah, okay, those are both power bombs. Alright, got it. Alright, yellow scared yours. Open. Only matters in Sector 5, that's the only place that they exist. Okay, let's go around and let's go pick up an item or two that are hidden over here. Yeah, 
through here. Power bombs. Oh, that unlocks more. That unlocks so much more. Down. Get back here. Okay, little secret path. And this is a really annoying setup, I must say. Okay, you kill this thing to let it reform, turn into this, to go up, to go to kill this guy. Ah, uh, yes, I did. <laughs> People have not touched them, because why do they need to? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, that sucks. I'm running out of missiles here. Oh, thank you for the E-Tank. That's exactly what I wanted to see. Okay, um... I could go down, but what's the point? Unless this is blocked off. This could be blocked off. No, it's not. Okay. Me the red X. Oh boy. boy. But why though? What evil plan do you have in mind, game? Okay. All right, fine. Just hand me everything. I do believe now that I have both space, like space jump, gravity, and oh god, this thing takes way too much damage. Now that I have space jump and gravity. And, uh, Varya. That, um... <clears throat> the... Sector 5 is now wrecked. We shall see. Doesn't affect much. Ter you, like, normally you've already gotten everything down here, so most people don't come back down here. <clears throat> well, that requires a power bomb. Yeah. I think because I have space jump and gravity that this is open. And because I have ice beam, I can do this. Or not ice beam, ice missiles. It's a fun little ice puzzle. Okay, <laughs> be careful getting here, because, you know, you think you're safe. You think you're safe, you got here. God, why is I getting everything? I can fully clear this sector pretty much at this point. 
And it's like, you think you're safe after getting through that, and then you fall down here. Okay, I have the charge beam now. All I need is the plasma beam, and I'm in go mode. It would not be a very fun go mode, by any means. But I would be in go mode. Okay, an e tank. Good. I mean, part of the problem right now is I have a lot in Sector 5. I can basically clear Sector 5. I have a couple items I want to grab in Sector 5. I have Sector access to. I don't really even have access to Sector 6 now, do I? I suppose the power bomb would clear the super missile blob barricade. Uh-huh, not happening. E-tanks are nice. Okay, the only thing I can't do here in Sector 5... Although I could very, very, exceedingly slowly... ...is, um, Nightmare. By... Charge beam. Slowly. Obviously, I don't want to do that. Oh yeah, Nightmare, Yakuza, Ridley's okay. Missiles. That's like, I don't have enough missiles. I definitely don't have enough power to my missiles. Hey, where is this taking? That takes me to Sector 1. Unfortunately, I need Screw Attack in order to really utilize those shortcuts. That's the only one you can get to without Screw Attack. And even then you can't get out. What am I getting? I am going to... I need to, like, put this seed in... In the, um, like, in the, the Metroid Fusion rando discord or something. It's like, what in the hell did I make? Okay, this is a surprisingly simple puzzle, although you never want to use um, a power bomb to reveal it. Because there's a... That right there that will stop you from completing if you uh, trigger it, which a power bomb will. Okay, I'm a spinning ball of murder and death now. Alright, fine. Now the only thing I can't really do is his nightmare. Although I might have to. Uh, I don't want to consider it. I like I'm. I hate it. But I think bot all like all bosses are in logic just by having the charge beam because you can damage them slowly and without worry. Okay. 
Oh, this is power bomb block. Okay. It's like you have to survive the fight, which you know that's the problem. More missiles I get, the happier I get. I don't want to have be like to be able to do this, but it is something that I can do. Okay, this is a recharge room. I think I'm going to go retrieve another power up first before I go fight nightmare. <laughs> A night fight nightmare with nothing. Uh, this is gonna go exceedingly well. Yoink! Okay. Once I get Nightmare and get the item just before him, that's Sector 5 all cleared out in the first visit. Okay, and save before you go into any boss fight whatsoever. Especially if you can get out safely. Because this boss fight with Nightmare is about to go exceedingly poorly for me. Uh, okay, bomb. Go in here, grab this, more power bombs, not gonna help me, but oh well. Hi, Nightmare! I'm here! I'm here for my pain and suffering. Okay, thankfully I have Screw Attack, because Screw Attack just makes you immune to literally everything. As long as you're in Screw Attack. See, like, I can touch him and not be hurt. I'm trying to do something, and this is not, okay, working well. I'm trying to do something called flaring. If you look at my charge beam, there is a a little flare of light right at the gun. I'm not I don't think I'm being nightmare here. I don't think I have the health to do this. I don't think I have the health to do this. I think we're going to be leaving Nightmare alive. Cause like it's one hard boss fight with no health versus all of Sector 4. And all of Sector 1 when I go over there. The only reason I'm going to Sector 4 first is because I have to for the red locks. It's like, I think by default, this path cannot be anything but the path to Sector 4. This here. More power bomb tank. Alright. Okay, lower sector four. Let's go. I hate this. I hate all of this. I hate every last moment of this. But at least I don't have an, an possibly annoying boss fight to deal with. More e tanks. Yes, please. Okay. 
These kind of locks right here are the only reason why you need some kind of bomb. I have all the kinds of bomb, so I could, you know, not be stupid, like trying to do screw attack into them. Hey, what's up? It was like, you need something to get through all of these blocks to get down here. You also need gravity suit and speed booster. Just because you can't get down here without them. Because the path through sector 5 is the only path. Okay, red locks unlocked. All I need for go mode is plasma beam. I can't actually get in there. I can get in here and have fun. Okay. I must come up. Let's go. I'm lazy. Sue me. Powerbomb tank. way chance there is but I need to go up here because I forgot something there's an item in here there's also a full heal in here give me that missile tank well that'll be, that'll be helpful more missiles is good missiles at this point, because I really don't want to charge beam a boss to death. If I have any choice in the matter. Not supposed to have screw attack for in here. So things are very much easy to get through. Letting you have to do a lot less of the uh, the puzzles that they have for you. This guy is an issue though. I do have to deal with getting around him. Okay, save point, but that doesn't matter. I don't need to care about save point. This thing I would normally have to go around, but bleh. Okay, um, was there anything up there? Yes, there is. Well, I can freeze this guy. I don't even have to freeze that guy, I can kill that guy. Ow. My face. It hurts. Stop it. Okay. I'm going to be stupid. I'm going to be dumb. I've made my decision to be to do something stupid. Which means I need to go over here and save. Okay. This is probably not in logic what I'm thinking of doing, but I still want to do it. Right, so I need to go in here. And unless this is the fusion missile. Okay, it's not. Unless this is the fusion missile. The game probably wants me to go down here. Probably wants me to go down here and go to Sector 1. Huh. That's an interesting conundrum. I mean... Because Sector 1... Where, where in Sector... No, this has to put me in one specific place in Sector 1. This might be the fusion missile, actually. 
Because I cannot get out of here. No. Because, um... Green door. Can't get out. Do we have vanilla diffusion missiles, or do I get to be fancy? Oh god, that's gonna hurt the whole way through. Okay. Now what I haven't said is that I am currently softlocked in this location. If I go back through this room, I cannot leave back the way I came. And I can't get past these guys. Technically. gotten into is that there's a way to squeak an ice missile into there. It does require... This is why I save first. Because, like, I could run out of missiles and have to go charge them back up, and I don't want to have to do that. At the same time, I might just be... I might have to do this. See, I kind of got it, but, like, he expanded... I need to pull back a fair bit. It is a very... Okay. It's a very hard trick. As you might guess, building up missiles sucks. I might actually be a lot more soft locked than I'd like to admit. Like, I can't get down, I can't get up. I can, however, not bother with the missile recharge thing. Ah, uh, the ch oh god, I realized something. I forgot to do it. I forgot to change the sound, so now it's a lot louder.
Like, unfortunately, my- there's only one way out of where I- like I am at this point. Unless there's a secret exit here, which I doubt. Nope. There's only one way out of this loop. It's either doing the unintended sequence break, or it's doing the intended sequence break. I'd much rather take my chances with the unintended sequence break, because that is much easier to deal with. Yeah, that's what I'd like to see. I'd like to see more red X, please, thank you. Like the unintended one, I have 55 missiles to try and do a a trick that I have done before. The intended sequence break is a long, long shine spark chain of bite me. Ooh, that was close. Haha, <laughs> 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 yes, yes, please, or no, yes, ha 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 ha. Screw you, game. We are firmly out of logic. We are very much no longer in logic. Oh, I wasn't supposed to come to Sector 4 just yet. I can tell you that right now. I needed either diffusion missiles or something else. But, I can get out. That's the part that matters. I am not trapped in Sector 4. It's like, if I had been down there, I would be trapped, still. It's like, now that the red locks are open, and I'm on the other side with the speed booster blocks, I can go back out through Sector 5, and I'm fine. It's just time to loot and take everything I can get my greedy little hands on. More missiles is good if I have to go back to Nightmare. Hmm. Okay, you do want to go up here just because. It's like, this is not the correct path. It very much leads is a long path to a dead end. But it's a dead end with an item, which is the only thing that matters. Okay, so I'm feeling like Plasma Beam is going to end up being in Sector 6. Or on Nightmare. It's like either that or I can get to one of the other sectors where I can actually unlock the doors to the other sectors. Most likely Sector 3. 
because that would unlock the green doors, and I there's no green door in the path. Thanks for all the health. Grab that. Go here. Let's turn off the... I can't turn off the electric water. Never mind. Is that really the only blue door? Wow, it is the only blue door in here. Okay. Well, that's one item I cannot get. There's Saris's bones left to rot. Yo, what's up? Okay, I cannot kill them by screw attack. Anymore. I didn't know, because you never run into one when you have the screw attack. So I was kind of curious. Come on, Saris. Oh, did you miss me sequence breaking to escape? Oh, I was hard locked uh, in in lower in lower aqua, like very soft, like well, not maybe not hard locked. I was soft locked and would not be able to escape, so I sequence broke my way out. Because, like, when you're in Lower Aqua, you need, um, if you don't have diffusion missiles in order to freeze the... Well, I, if if the green doors had been unlocked, I would have been fine. But, like, my, my two exits took me... My one exit took me to, uh, Sector 1, where I'd be locked behind a green door. So it's like, I couldn't escape from there. And, um, I don't have diffusion missiles, so I couldn't freeze the expandy balloon things that block you. So it's like, I couldn't escape via that way. So I just said, screw it, and sequence broke my way out. speed booster my way through there. And it's like, I didn't do the intended, like, speed booster. I did the unintended one. Or the, not the speed booster, sequence break. Because there's two of them. There's the one where you go all the way out, um, like you take, do a shine spark path and come back out through this door after breaking back through this wall. And that's long and complicated, and I've never done it before. <clears throat> and then there's the the path where you go around, <laughs> and you go up to the the little spiky ball, like puffer fish things, and you very carefully align a super missile doing this, and squeeze it into the hole and freeze it and sneak by. And that's what I did. It's there in the VOD if you wish to go look. Okay, I am not going to be to take on... <laughs> to take on, um... Nightmare without full med... Well, actually, I'd refill all my missiles. Because of the red X in front of his door. But we will attempt to take on, um... <laughs> Take on Nightmare again with more missiles and more health. Not more, not many more missiles and not many more health, but I'll give it an attempt.
Oh. Endo Nightmare. Yeah, I'm not gonna. Nope. Night Baron does way too much damage for the amount of health I, health I have and the little amount of damage I can do. Oh well. Okay, now where, oh where do I wish to go? The Nightmare's hard. Like, I don't think he's gonna have anything for me. Okay. And I can go to Sector 1, where I can get almost everything. Or I can go to Sector 6. Like, either or is very possible right now. So I can just go Sector 1 through here. No, I can't. Because I get through here. I blast my way through here. And here's a blue door. <clears throat> and here's a green door. Never mind. Sector 6 it is. Okay, well, Sector 5 is cleared except for Nightmare, and Sector <laughs> Sector 4 is fully cleared. I can also go take a peek in here. Because there's no way in heck this goes to Sector 1. It might still go to some place where I'm locked in. <laughs> Go, okay. Fine. The path- the path- this is vanilla. This path right here, sector 5 to 6, is vanilla. It's like, okay, fine. Hint taken. I understand. Makes my missiles do 40 damage instead of 20, so suddenly Nightmare would die a lot quicker. Why do you do this to me, game? Okay, I need to not go to the red sector of Sector 6. Partially because it's impossible to get out without Wave Beam, and partially because I'm not supposed to have the red doors unlocked, I just do. Okay. Alright, fine. Let's go beat Sayx. Let's go, Boat. We're done. I'm not supposed to be done, but I'm done.
I'm supposed to have diffusion missiles or the ice beam and wave beam, but you, <laughs> I sequence broke my way around it. Oh, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> Go on, this is gonna be fun. I look forward to the end, because one of the th changes they've made is that in the credits they'll tell you where everything is. I look forward to seeing where items are and figuring out what the hell I was supposed to be doing. Yeah, my way. <laughs> okay, here's the say X. Of course, she has a fair bit more firepower than I do. I have the ability to aim, though. <laughs> Unfortunately, the screw attack works for her just as well as it does for me. Ah. It has been so long since I've had to fight her with as, as little as I do have. Oh, she'll die. I have infinite lives. She doesn't. I mean, I could do the cheese method. I have the cheese method, but I don't want to do the cheese. And oh, you piece! Of I wish she'd stop doing that. <sighs> I think it's time for the cheese method. <laughs> Very simple method.
Give her one more actual try before I resort to cheese method. You know, three strikes and all that. Stop that. Stop that. Yeah, I can definitely feel the fact that I do not have all the other beam upgrades because this is taking so much longer than it normally does. Okay. Okay. Thankfully, I have the super missiles. So, I'm doing only five less damage than I normally would be. I have to be a little bit careful with the, uh, the Metroid. What's really silly is, if not for my two attempts at Nightmare and the time I took to sequence break my way out, I would have finished this in under an hour. Oh, and my double death with the SAX, but, you know. Oh no, I got- I made another seed, and we'll see what happens. Ow. Hi. Hug me! Ugh. Seriously? He's taking damage. It's just much slower, like with the Say X. Out. Ugh. Back, foul beast. 
Back now. Oh, God, I hate that move. That's a punishment for letting them get to the other side. Okay, where was my diffusion missiles or my wave beam and my ice beam? Because I needed those to logically get out of Sector 4. And it will tell me, eventually. It will make its way down to the, um... Make its way down the list. Ugh. Like, you'll go through the credits, and then at the bottom, it'll list where everything was. Ugh. It's like, I got basically nothing. If I... If I had gone back and gone to Sector 5 instead of clearing out Sector 4, I would have had, like, no missiles. It was like, Sector 4 had nothing. Wave beam, sector six, ice beam, main deck. Missile, super missile, diffusion, data, bombs, power bombs. Okay, wave beam, sector six. So I might have found it if I had gone a little bit deeper. I didn't quite see where wide beam was, which would have made it easier. And main deck. There's only a couple locations in the main deck that I didn't get. Let's see. Spoilers. Which one was this? Which seed did I do? Let's find out. Next one! Hopefully I don't have to roll a third. I swear if I finish this one in like 45 minutes, I'm going to wonder what's going on. Okay, back to being little little baby Simus with no no health or anything. Do we start with? Do we get morph ball or do we get missiles? I suppose in theory I could have speed booster. I think that's one of the items that you can start with, but I also think it's not on the the difficulty level that I set. I wouldn't exactly know what to do with Speed Booster, except for Scream in Pain. Ugh. 
No, thank you. <laughs> like something normal ish. So we'll see how that works out for us. Boo, 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 boo. E tank, good, good, good. More health is lovely. Morph ball had to be here somewhere. It's like it had to be in one of these five items. These two, the other two, just before Arachnus or Arachnus as vanilla. Missiles is good, it means Arachnus can die quicker. Okay. Alright, fine. Thankfully, Arachnus does not require missiles to kill. Well, technically it doesn't require missiles to kill. This does. But you have infinite missiles by the B of the X. Get over here. Stop! Okay. Power bombs, huh? That does affect where we go just a little bit. Hopefully we don't see space jump because that just makes it worse. Because there is a singular item right down here that you need power bombs for. Energy tank. Okay, fine. That makes me feel better. All the way up until I go into this next room and pick up the uh, space jump, and then we get to go have fun. Oh, thank you. Okay, what sector are you going to force me to go into, game? There's only... S hmm... Six and five again? Ah, uh, fine. Oh, well, it's not like I'm having trouble with the game. I'm wondering what the hell it's pulling, but I've not had a problem. Oh, my health. Oh, God, they hurt. Oh, God. Why is everything and it's so hard in this game? I 
Yep, not surprised about that one. But <laughs> not in the least. Okay. Okay, that's that barrier gone. And then we can go in here and we can drop another power bomb. I mean, not the, really that helpful with power bombs. I mean, it just means like I can break normal bomb blocks without any problem. <sighs> what does this do? Is there any other item I can get in here? Maybe? Can I get it and get out? No. Duh. God, space jump without high jump. Ugh. Okay, well, I know where I need to go now. <laughs> Back to Sector 5. So, like, it's either go to Sector 5 or it's go play with Yakuza. And Sector 5 is closer. Like, if I go play with Yakuza, there's two items without, um, without having to fight him. Like, I can go up here. Ugh. 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 Space jump sucks so much. I can pick this up. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that makes the decision to go to the main deck a lot more palatable. Because it means I get one more item. Sniper crabs. Thankfully, there's recharge rooms everywhere. They knew that they were going to be, be the beating the living daylights out of you with all these enemies. Okay, save. Because I can't really go get anything else in Sector 5 because I don't have Aria suit. Sector 6 is kind of the same story, except it's because I don't have Speed Booster. Okay, down and down and around. Through, and we're gonna go say hi to Yakuza, or at least go knock on his door. Because I'd prefer not to fight him. This path's open for me. And we go through here. And take a whole bunch of damage along the way. Ow. And then because I have Jump Ball, I can go through here. Knee tank. Not what I wanted to see, if I'm gonna be honest. Look back, I have. We're going exploring. Um. I picked up high ball, high, high jump, and uh, jump ball. And now we're making our way to go say hi to Yakuza. Okay. 
It's like that's where my um that, that's where my my uh items are pointing me at to Yakuza. Like, I might not go fight Yakuza themselves, but I can go get the two items outside and then go through the, uh, the portal. Go through to the, I, I think, Sector 2. I think that one by default always leads to Sector 2. This will take capacity. Stop hurting me. Oh, there's the hole. Excuse me. Okay, I can't really see that, but I go. Uh oh. Oh, huh, huh. I didn't want that. Ow. Gow. I'm glad I saved. I am... Uh-oh. I, I don't want it, but I need to go get it. It's a joke. It's a joke that the, ran like the randomizer dev pulled on the players. I think I might kill. Get out of there so I can get this safely. Okay, so wave beam penetrates through walls and you know all this other fun stuff. Now I'm gonna have to mention because this is the rando, they had to make custom sprites for all the different beams and like all the different combos of beams. Because normally, if you cheated and gave yourself like the wave beam at the end, you would have all the other beams by default. So that was uh, changed to where, like, and they added custom sprites for all the different beams and beam combos. The problem comes in with the wave beam. Now, how easy do you think it's going to be to hit something with that? I mean, <laughs> okay. Now I know I have to go this way. <laughs> Although, whether I can get in is a question. Unfortunately, this way sucks. These things do way too much damage for my peace of mind. Uh, especially since I have no armor. Okay. 
do that. My only defense is the fact that I have power bombs. I have power bombs and I have wave beam, which means I can stand on the other side of a wall and shoot them until they're dead. Yeah, I had like... And that's why I saved. Ah, uh, we've got the seed of pain and suffering, I see. Now, obviously, I don't have to go to Yakuza. I do not have anywhere near the missiles. I do not have any... I do not have the charge beam. Yakuza is not in logic. Hilarious. <sighs> well, there might be a way, of, some way of working around it, although you might have to install a program. with every fiber of my being. Okay, where am I? Dog of a Okay, I just wanted to look and think. Okay, I'm in here. Which means I want to do this. Sounds strange. I have no idea why it might do that. Oh, thank you. Oh, my lifesaver. Oh, now I'm not nearly as squishy just because I'm a spinning wheel of death. Little secret right here. Yoink. You'd be surprised how few people know about that room. I ain't getting a weight gain picture out of me, so I don't even try it. More e tanks. Okay, let's tear through these guys. And let's go unlock the blue locks, shall we? Smash, 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 murder, kill. In addition to the blue locks, I have access to two uh, zones because I have the screw attack and the space jump. I can go through to two, air like through the two shortcuts. I'm probably going to check that one with uh, sector two and see where see where one of them takes me before I go uh, start full clearing the area. I didn't realize that was uh, not a place to stand either. Okay.
No, thank you. Damn, I almost made it back up there. This room is very annoying, if you had not guessed. Fortunately, it's also very in logic. Uh, and very not required. Okay. Well, let's go check uh, one of the two shortcuts out of Tro. Where will this take me? Sector 3, which means I do want to come up here because there's an item right there. Actually, there's a couple items I can grab. There's three items in here. Although I might not be able to grab one of them. Yeah, okay, because that one right- that's speed booster right there. If I can find a Varia suit and a speed booster, I would have the ability to open the level 2 locks. Ow, god. I have so much. Okay, level 2 locks being done. I can go make my way around and almost fully clear out this area. And I think I'm exceedingly likely to find the um, to find the speed booster somewhere because I need the speed booster anyway. So I'm more I'm like I'm going to find it. Let's go take a peek in here, just because I do not want to go out this way when I come back. Going to want to come out the other way. Okay, so now we want to go up here. Seeing them being done. Power bomb today. Okay. Like, randos are a fun way to play a game. Where does this take me? Sector 5. This gives me a couple items. It's like, I do that, and I do this, I do this, I go... I can grab this. And then go down here and into this data room safely, which is just not a missile deck. Because the rooms will not repair around me, so I can get back up and back out, no problem. I just can't get anything else here. So that was in Logic 2. I know what I can do. It's like, I've played a lot of Fusion. I know what I can and cannot do, generally in most situations. I know how to avoid softlocks. And it's like, I just made these seeds before the start of the stream. Like the only uh, new thing I'm having to adjust to is the fact that of the sector shuffle, which means I have to do a lot more thinking about where I can go. 
once I'm in a sector, I know what I can and can't do. Yeah, like, like I said, I find Varia, I find Speed Booster, I can go get, I can go unlock the level three, the level two locks in Sector Three. Yes, less damage, please. I am extremely likely to find the Speed Booster around here somewhere. There's only three things as it stands that I cannot get. One, oh, well, two of them are in the same room. And I know exactly what would let me get them. I would need um, an ice effect. And the other is defeating the plasma beam boss. Just because my missiles will not do enough damage, so, like, and I do not have charge beam, so that's not in logic. It's like, I have everything that I need, and then some, in order to get down in here and plunder it, and get back. Actually, no, five items. I was like, if I don't find the speed booster, there's five items I can't get. But I'm going to be looking for the speed booster everywhere. I forgot about two of them. And I'm extremely likely to get the speed booster just because I need it. Like, just because of where I can go after this. Okay, you rise this up. You shoot that. Oh, that's a bomb. Well, I'm gonna power bomb that. A lot of health! Not gonna complain about that. go visit the first boss. Is my speed booster at? Oh, wow. You can do between, like, zero and three jumps, and then one and three jumps, and then two and three jumps. Every boss phase. So it's like, seeing the zero is an amazing chance. It's like, this guy's a hit base boss, so, like, he, he will always die in the same amount of time. Like, jumps depending.
Damn. Okay, so here's the, the tricky thing. Right here is a door. There's an item right there, and an item in here. Both of them require speed booster. Which is why I said I'll have to leave five items behind. Okay, so I don't go out through Sector 3. I suppose if Sector 2 is a middle, then I have access to leave, no problem. It's like, almost everything in here is cleared out, except for the five, like, items. The two that are there, there are two that are blocked by ice, and then there's the plasma boss. And I'm gonna be honest, if I had super missiles, I'd be tempted to go try and do the plasma boss. raises interesting questions. Now even if 2 is at the end of a hallway, I can go to 5 and escape, or I can go to 3 and try to escape. I can't do really anything in 3. Okay, this isn't at the end of the hallway, so I can- I 3 is at the end of the hallway, okay. So I can go to four, or I can go into six. I can't really do... I can do more in six. I can do more in five. Can't fully clear any of the areas, which is making this a little bit of a harder choice. I can't do... Hmm. I can get one thing in six. Because I do not have the speed booster. Actually, no, I can get around the speed booster requirement with, um... With screw attack, can't I? Screw attack opens up a lot of this game. Because there's so many shortcuts that are locked by screw attack blocks. It's like screw attack kind of screws with your uh, your ability to think about what you can and can't do, just because you can do so much. And it's like the fact that I have the wave beam means I can do this. This isn't in logic. I did not turn on go through damage areas, but at the same time, if I got the speed booster, this would be in logic because I could turn off the damage. Like, I'm just grabbing items because I can. Like here. There's an item down here, but this won't be in, like, this could be something, but it, thank you. Thank you for fixing my beam. Okay. Like I said, this could be something. That doesn't unlock anything, except it makes my, it makes my beam so much better. Because now instead of that stupid thing, I have, uh, I have that. So now I don't have to worry about the, uh, like, the hitting aspect. I want to check up here. You don't want to go and do Ceres generally without Speed Booster unless it's literally your last location.
Okay. I knew Speed Booster had to be around somewhere. So I can rope. I so it's like now my wide beam is in logic. And there's plasma beam. Okay, all I'm missing is charge beam and ice beam now. Thank you. When I get to say X, that will be a, a fight going much better for my my sanity. <sighs> okay, fine. It's like, it's becoming exceedingly obvious that Sector 4 was the correct choice. That's a hard that, that's a hard question to answer just because like a lot of them dip like depend on the two screens and it's like most of the ones that didn't already have oh okay Like most of the 3DS games that I can think of that don't depend on the second screen are already on Switch. I never played it, so I can't say that I want it to come to Switch. Okay, well, I can get into and out of Ceres, so I guess it's time to go murder a sea snake. By the way, this is one of the soft locks you need to worry about. If you do not have high jump and you come in here, you'll just stop like right here and you will be stuck in this pool. Now, if you want to throw super missiles at me so I can go fully clear sector two. Oh, no, 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 no. Samus Returns would be a bad idea. I've played that game. That one would not work very well. There'd be way too much pausing. I played that one on stream. You'd be pausing way too often. Because, like, the second screen served as the ability to switch between your normal beam, your ice beam, and your grapple beam. And, like, it was an on-the-fly thing, and it worked kind of well. But it was because there was the second screen. Yes, but they were stacked onto each other, and you didn't have Ice Beam, you had Ice Missile.
It's like in, in Samus Returns, they were... You had your normal beam, which could be stacked up all the way to wave and plasma, whatever. And then there was the... Like, a separate grapple beam. And a separate ice beam. And then you still had your missiles and your bombs and your power bombs and stuff. You can't. It was specifically it was specifically and stupidly designed. The ice beam was specifically separate and useless on anything but Metroids. Okay, let's go into sector two. Okay, was there anything in Sector 4 that I can get that I didn't? No. Or I can go into Sector 5. I can do a lot in Sector 5. Sector 6. I think that was Sector 6. Um, I can do a lot in Sector 6, like the, all the first visit. I can't go do the Wave Beam boss area, but I can... It's like I have everything and then stuff, except for the charge beam to fight that boss. But I'm pretty certain the boss actually does not let you in. I'll have to be a little cheeky with how I handle this. Oh, and in addition, I can go through here and see where this takes me. Okay, that does not help me. At all. Sector 5. That gets me one item. Because, like, normally I need to unlock the... Okay, nothing. Normally I would need to unlock the yellow doors to get to that. Okay. Oh no, no, you don't want to do, do what the old OG Metroid 2 did. That involved going back and swapping your beam, like, at a station. It's like, that was a limit of the Game Boy, not something that you want to do. Okay. I can open this, but I can't go past here because there's a red door in my way. However... Ah, crap. You can build up speed. And launch. And secret room. And this room is very special. Ah, it's the edges there. Okay. This, you have to build your speed booster path. I messed up which platform was which. You want to blow up about in the middle of every platform except for the small one where you want to blow up on the edges.
and then that will create your path. And you have to do this again. You have to do this to get out too. Where is a save point that I may use? It's not in the bad place. It's like, I can go here. And this is normally like a one way out only, but I have screw attack. Oh, I couldn't even go into the boss room from the other side, could I? Huh. Because the boss room on the other side is locked by a... Is locked by a, um... A green door, which I have not unlocked because I have to go to sector 3. So it's like, the room is here. And you can go in and out without worry. My main thing is the ability to get out. Is that just one item down there for that though? No, there's two. There's two items. My main thing is I can't get back out. Yeah, no, I need to I need to turn around. Like I cannot get back out if I continue going forward. And this isn't even something like like if I find an item it would let me get back out, I just cannot get back out. Take me again. Sector four. Okay. I can't go to sector. I can go fully clear out sector two. I can do a fair chunk of sector five before it gets ruined. But I could find gravity. And gravity and charge beam are the only two things I'm looking for at this point. Anything else is superfluous. And access to Sector 3 will let me open the locks, the green locks. Uh, yeah. Unfortunately, because I have Plasma Beam, all these things have hatched now, so they want to cause me pain and suffering. Like, even in places where they wouldn't be hatched. Okay, let's go deal with the four items I left behind and we'll consider the Plasma Beam boss. Uh, 
gotten and gotten and free. And you have to have ice for that because you have to freeze the rippers. I have tried very, very hard to get through there, but with the screw attack and killing the rippers, it doesn't work. It has not worked ever. Yeah, the Ice Beam is an item. Then, like, that's one of the things the Rando does. The Ice Beam is an item that you can find. You don't need it, but it's nice to have. Okay, build up speed, and return, and build up speed. And missile tank. Now for a speed booster trick. You have to hold speed booster and get all the way up there with that. Okay, 80 missiles, 32 power bombs. I might be able to kill the plasma beam boss. So, like, the plasma beam boss is actually weak to power bombs. You can use it. That's what practice gets you. Uh, the plasma beam boss is through here. You go up here, and you murder. Okay. I should be able to Ugh, kill this guy. You always want to keep a power bomb going because it clears those spores. Let me out. Okay, now I have to do this the slow way. But I've got it to the red zone, which means it's almost dead. Give me missiles. In theory, might have enough missiles to kill him. No, I definitely should. Okay. 
Just a missile tank. But this is Sector 2 cleared out. I have no reason to return here for any item. Which is why I dealt with that. As much as I'm reasonably certain that um, bosses are not in logic without the charge beam. It's like I could kill him, he was the last item left, might as well deal with it. Okay, now we can go to Sector 3. In Sector 3, we can do basically the same thing and that do everything. Oh, that needs to be reset. Alright, fine. I need my speed booster. Launch, item, grab, powerbomb tank, and let's go have some fun. Launch! Come on, come on, come on, Samus. Okay, now I have to wait for those to restore themselves. And let's go unlock the grain doors. done. That means I have access to the front entrance of every sector. And I have access to a lot of items. Okay. Build up speed again. To go down here and fall through here. Then you power bomb here. Because there's a little secret ledge in here with an item. It's an E-Tank. Big surprise. Uh, there's only four items, like, left. There's the gravity suit, there's the charge beam, which I- both of which I need, and then there's the super missiles and the diffusion missiles. Normally this is very annoying because you have to freeze the all like those little guys with uh, ice missiles and use them as platforms because those are all crumble blocks below them. Be down here. Down here is bad. Okay, the only place I want to be down is here. It's like this is not in logic, but if I this is the charge beam, then all I need to find is the gravity suit. Don't mind the screen, it may hurt just a little bit. It's like, from 
gonna be down here anyway, I might as well get it. To hell with the amount of damage I'm taking. Alright, let's go kill the Wide Beam boss. He shall die, and we shall continue exploring. The reason why this guy is dangerous is because you have a time limit to fight him normally. Yeah, come here. Yeah, I wasn't expecting anything good, but you know. I'm trying to clear this area out as much as I can possibly do so. Fall and... Yes. Pain. I have way too many missiles. deck is there. Sector 1 is there. Honestly, Sector 1 is probably where I should go, because I can get everything except for one item, which is the fusion missile lock. up down here. Okay, okay. Don't need it. All right, no wait. There's two items I can't get in sector one. The one that's diffusion locked, and one that's locked by gravity. Hello, box. How are you doing? He's done. So 
like that. Okay, Pox is dead. There's just a couple more items here in Sector 3 to get at the moment. So, maybe. Nope, speed booster, speed booster. Yeah, I can't get around that. Alright, fine. I tried. I tried to get around the speed booster requirement. Well, not speed, gravity requirement. Ooh, although. No, no, it wouldn't work. It wouldn't work. Because I could destroy the top blocks, but it wouldn't, like, actually let me. Launch. Another e tank. God. Okay. Punch! Okay, and yoink! Okay, that's all of Sector 3 that I can do. I have to leave two items behind, but I don't have the gravity suit, so... Let's go to Sector 1. Sector 1's nice, it's available, and it could have whatever I need. And the sector one was very specifically locked by the green box. Because, um, kind of can't get to the shortcut into sector one. Although maybe I could have gotten to the shortcut from sector one in sector one from sector three. Sector 1 will be easy. Like, the only thing I can't- there's only one item I can't get in the main of Sector 1, and then one in the secret part of Sector 1. What are you doing, kitty cat? Huh? She's just hanging around at my feet. Where are the things that I need? There's a good chance that I'm going to go down into the secret half of Sector 1. So I may want to save at a good spot. And this might be the best spot that I have. Grab. 
power bomb tank acquired. And, not in logic, but we're grabbing it anyway. Because I have definitely have enough health to tank this. Yeah, I didn't think it was anything good. Make my way backwards easily to the, to the next room. Because there's the secret part of se Sector 1 down there. But it's not hard for me to get back down. Because I have the wave beam, I can unlock the one way gate and not have to do the full loop. Never mind, we're going down <laughs> to Secret Area Sector 1, because now I can go do everything that's down there. Ugh. The acid's gonna be painful. Ugh. your stream. <laughs> Welcome to Metroid Fusion Seed 2 for the night. Okay. You need a power bomb. It's like Seed 1 took uh, about 40 minutes. <laughs> yeah. I was like, this is second seed. <laughs> seed one was very fast and very painful. And this I've just found... I found just about everything except for two items that I need. I'm missing super missiles, I'm missing gravity suit, and I'm missing charge beam. And do they can be... like, those can be anywhere. I don't need super missiles, though. Have you ever done a fusion rainbow seed? Would you like a quick explanation of what you need if you've never have? Oh, Ugh, zero mission, fun. Oh, I actually had that the other the other day. My plasma beam was. Where was it, the dog? Like, my plasma beam was all the way at the end of the ship. It's like, like, just past the vanilla first power ball. It's like, that was a very deep in there thing. Uh, it's fun! It's so fun when they put your stuff all the way at the very end of the game. Especially since you never actually need Plasma Beam for anything except for beating the game, so... Okay, I can get in, I can get out. So it's like, let's go fight Ridley and have Screeches. Lots and lots of Screeches. How much HP do you have? Oh, those things only have 25 HP. Interesting. Hi, Ridley. Do 
Excuse me while I just face tank the damage with all of the E-Tanks the seed has given me. I might need to be a little more careful with my missiles until he's definitely dead. This is why we saved. I don't know that I can actually kill him with the missiles I have. Um, wow. Amazing. I actually can't kill him with the missiles I have. Because I, I can't do any more damage to him. Oh well, drain my health. God, he's a tank. Was that about running out of missiles? <laughs> okay. Well, it, leaving... Leaving... I don't have charge beam. It's like leaving him behind to spy. Unless he has charge beam. I don't think he can. I'm, I'm pretty certain I've heard uh, from several locations that no boss is in logic without charge beam. I'm just doing bosses because I can. It's like most of the bosses you can kill with few amounts of missiles. So it's like we'll be leaving Ridley behind and we'll be leaving a item coming up that's in a speed booster wall just because without gravity suit you can't sink. Yeah, my only thing is, like, I don't know if what I heard is correct. Like, I know that they don't like to give the, like, the major items. I just don't know if they're not in logic without a uh, charge beam. Okay, let's go kill you so I can deal with the other thing. Ow, my face. And a charge and toward. Okay. Well, hopefully I don't need to uh, kill Ridley for a charge beam. It's like, that would be extremely rude. I've actually... Mm, in the early days of the rando, I had a very impossible seed. Because you know how the, the Varia Core X you can't kill without Charge Beam? I had a seed where he had Charge Beam, so that was very much impossible. Like, I went and asked and in the, in the Discord they're like, uh yeah, that, that shouldn't happen. That, that's not supposed to happen. A lot of missiles. Well, this is Sector 1 cleared out, with the exception of two items. Sector 2 is done, Sector 3 is done as much as I can, Sector 4 is done as much as I can. I guess I have to go into Sector 5, or I go into the Habitation deck. Like, I've done everything else to the extent that I can. Although I have, I don't have Charge Beam, so I can't do... I can't do the Varia Core X. But the charge beam could be down there. Hmm. 
Hmm. Where does this shortcut take me? Okay, that doesn't help me. Sector 3 is not anywhere that I need to go. The only items left are locked by gravity. Okay. Either has to be go into Sector 5 and do the, the, lo like the unwrecked half of Sector 5. Or go into Sector 6 for like two items. I know which one I'm choosing. Okay. Let me through. And let's go open the yellow locks and get all the items that are around. Fortunately, I've already been here because the game gave me space jump and then wanted me to come in here to get my, um, I think it had my high jump and my jump ball that I had to use to go get something else. The start of this was very screwy. Missiles. Suppose if I end up going this, uh, I'd have to go around, but I could go say hi to Nightmare. Because I'd have to go through the shortcut and then come down, which would force the wrecked state. But I could go for spawn, uh, Nightmare and fight him. I can't backdoor the level lock, unfortunately. I don't know if they thought of that. I doubt it. They did not intend for this game to be broken like this. Oh, it's not like this is uh, majorly out of the way. Not with screw attack. Me. Okay, let's go and lock the lock. Grab the two items over here. Uh huh. Yeah, get that get that thing out of my face. Yeah. yeah, I think, uh, like, Wrecked State, what do you require? Gravity Suit? And what else? Speed Booster? I mean, I know you can force it by coming through the shortcut, and, like, it will change back, which is part of the reason I'm like, well, maybe I can, I can do Nightmare. I would not be able to get back out if Gravity Suit isn't in there, but it's a it's an option that I have. Okay, let's go get this first and not have to deal with the shenanigans of actually setting up the enemy kills. It keeps giving me missiles. Nightmare's gonna die, regardless. My last scene, I'm like, I got there. Yeah, well, I'm not locked right now. And it's like, yeah, I always save before I go deal with Nightmare, because no. You, like, just no. Rule of Metroid Randos. 
If you can't get out of someplace, don't save in there. I need speed booster there. Which means I need to kill this guy and freeze the thing. Get over there. I don't feel like going the other way. Too lazy to go back around. Oh! Okay. Never mind. We have the wrecked state. Uh oh. I should go save at the top. Okay. Hold up. Hold up, game. Okay, fine. I'll go around the long way because otherwise I'm tra- Okay, we'll go around the extra long way because otherwise I'm trapped. Yeah. Maybe it's having Varia and Speed Booster and unlocking the level four locks that um that unlocks the uh, destructive state. Okay, now we can get out. <laughs> Because as much as this should still be in the destructive state, I'm above the place where I can't jump. Okay. I want to go back this way. There's two items this way that are very easy to check. Yeah, here. Okay, I have that. It's just a missile, it doesn't help. I'll probably hit up the save at the top before we go poke into the, um, the destroyed part. Missile tank, okay. And hopefully, leaving the destroyed part doesn't restore it. I think we've figured it out with uh, Varia, Varia Speed Booster, and mm, Level 3 Unlocked. There's probably two keys, I think, because I think gravity is definitely one of them. I think it's like a, 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 any of the combo of a curt number of items. Because I know I've gotten the lock state with gravity. Fortunately, there's still no map tracker for people to um, see and understand what does what. Okay. Saved, and let's go into here. I don't find the gravity suit. I'm stuck down here, and I can't keep anything that I find. Up to and including the charge beam. I am displeased. I guess I'll use the missiles to freeze them.
Okay, down we go. I hope for gravity. For gravity. <sighs> and hope for freedom. It's like gritting gravity here would be really good. Just because, like, I'm already here, and I have to unlock the red locks. I'm gonna have plenty of missiles to beat up and beat up on Nightmare. Oh boy. stuff just so I'm fully ready for nightmare even with the red X no not no 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 that's a bad idea save points a bad idea Twenty-five health. Interesting. I, mean, I knew they could o they could only have thirty because you insta kill them when you get supers. Is it vanilla gravity? Is it vanilla gravity? Or do I need to go elsewhere? Thankfully, I'm fighting him with the amount of armor that I should have, so... Okay. I should have enough damage to kill him! Not right now. Load. Okay, good. Is it vanilla gravity suit? We won't find out just yet. I do not know how to do that frame perfect double missile thing. Okay, what have you got for me? No. Okay. <laughs> that gives me information. Means I do not have to defeat Nightmare. It also means I should head to Sector 6.
I need to hit the Sector 6, I need to head to the Habitation Deck, or I need to go to... Um... Blah, 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 blah. Uh, I need to go to Yakuza. <laughs> I don't want to go to Yakuza. So I feel like it is very likely that the item... The, like, the item that I'm gonna get here is Gravity. Because then they'll unlock the most. I feel like my last item is going to be finding a charge beam. Okay, since I've unlocked the green locks, I can get out of here. That was the main thing. Called it. Okay, so all we need is charge. All that's left is charge. Okay, well, if I guess I need to go to Yakuza or Ridley, they're going to die. Okay, this shouldn't have a boss lock on it. Oh, it does. How am I going to hurt you? Oh, okay. So the boss. Yeah, okay, fine. Yeah. Okay, I'm remembering correctly. So that is the one location that I cannot have charged me. Okay, well, time to go hunt. Yeah, bosses is basically what I have left. And it's like bosses and going back to Sector 5 and going to unlock the red locks, which is probably my best idea because that unlocks a number of items, like, just going through there. And, like, Charge Beam could be there. I have to do red locks anyway. There's no way around the fact that I have to do red locks. The charge beam can otherwise be anywhere. It can be on Ripley. It can be on Yakuza. The only place it can't be is any place that I've already checked. Be all the way up in the habitation deck, just waiting for me to go be in go mode right next to the final boss. <laughs> Okay. Well, I know what I do and don't need, and I don't need all the missile and power bomb tanks that I found. An E tank or two wouldn't be bad, but at the same time, I don't care enough. Oh, 
Like, I have enough missiles, and I have all three upgrades for missiles, so each of my missiles is doing over four times damage that they, like, they started as. Okay, let's go in here. Grab stuff on the way. It's like first seed, jet seed, second seed, hundred percent seed. Yeah, that 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 about wraps. Like I can't stop checking until I have the charge beam. search and we search some more. Hi, how you doing? <laughs> I had to unlock them all in order. Actually, I need to go up. Because there's an item up there. Ew, my red X! I could get out if I didn't need to check things. It's like with the ice and wave beam, I, there's a lot you can get out of here. Do I want to try the trick that you didn't see? I don't need to. It would just be to, like a couple of attempts to show what I mean when I say what I did. Yeah. Like I said, check on the way and I'll probably find what I need. Okay. I'm 
probably grabbing this just because. First try. First goddamn try. Oh god, I need to go back and clip that. That makes me exceedingly happy. Let's go kill Sayx with all of our power. Did you see the first try? Had you stepped away to miss it again? Oh, I did the trick that I like. I didn't need to do it. I just did it for the hell of it. It was the trick, like the same trick I used. It's like I'll, I'm going to have to go clip it. If you want me to send it to you after, I can and will. That charge beam was down in sector 4. And this is going to go much faster. Like, you're going to be amazed at how much faster this is going to go. She's already in phase two. I'd like to mention that I'd be taking no damage from this fight if I hadn't run into her once. Like, by by sheer chance, I like froze her in when I was in contact with her. It's like, I can and have done this fight without taking a single hit. Just like I would have done this fight without taking a single hit, except uh, for a little mess up right here, where she got frozen right as she touched me. Like, my charge wasn't fully done, so she didn't get knocked back. Do you want to see that cl the the clip I'm going to be making? Do you want it DM to you? Okay, I'll show you the the trick. Oh, 
you can keep your shine and get down there, and you can just shine to uh, right here, where you'll impact the roof. Hi. Snack me. Yeah. Unfortunately, that's scripted. Like, until this happens, I cannot actually damage this thing. Regardless of the fact that I have every beam. Ah, I almost had that one damageless too. If it hadn't been for the fact that it did a step back right at the worst time, and it's it. I actually have to sit through the credits this time because I found everything. Yeah. That was fun. While the credits play, I'm gonna go, uh, I'm gonna go make that clip. Uh, no, there shouldn't be. I, like, I did not get 100%. It is impossible to get 100% in this, actually. Yeah, it still has one. Can I quit a specific, a specific moment? I'd have to rewind. I'd have to find. I can rewind. It wasn't too terribly long. Okay, this. Almost there. Should be the spot. Okay. First, first try. See. Right. Okay, I'm making that clip. Twenty minutes game time. Rated collecting items is eighty-one percent. Not surprised. Here is that clip. <laughs> Hello, cat. But that was fun. Those two seeds done. We're just over three hours. And we are done. 
enjoy the clip and enjoy your night. Good night. <laughs>